When photographing a flower in the breeze, a Ferris wheel, or maybe a racing cyclist, a fast shutter speed is the key to taking a blur-free shot. Here are a few things to keep in mind when photographing a subject in motion. First, select your camera's shutter priority setting. In this mode, you control the shutter speed, and the camera chooses an aperture setting that will give a good exposure. Next, rotate the main command dial to select the shutter speed. The speed you choose depends on the speed at which your subject is moving, so you need to experiment. Generally speaking, 1 320th of a second should be plenty for all but the fastest subjects. For very slow subjects, you can go as low as 1 250th of a second, but be careful to keep your subject within the sharp focus zone as you set up the shot. You also can take a different approach to capturing action. Instead of using a fast shutter speed, select a speed slow enough to blur the moving objects. It can create colorful, cool, abstract images. If you're shooting fast subjects in dim lighting, raise the ISO setting to allow a fast shutter speed. Doing this does increase the chance that there will be noise in your photo, but a noisy shot is better than a blurry shot. If you're using rapid fire shooting, set the shutter release mode to continuous. That way you can capture multiple images with a single press of the shutter button. As long as you hold down the button, the camera keeps recording. For fastest shooting, try manual focusing. It eliminates the time the camera needs to lock focus when you use autofocusing. And finally, compose the subject to allow for movement across the frame. Set your shot up a little wider than normal so you reduce the risk that your subject will move out of the frame. You can always crop later to tighten up the shot. It's also a good idea to leave more room in front of the subject than behind it. Using these techniques should give you a better chance of capturing on the go.